Do you ever go to write an email to someone and you start typing their email address and like three different addresses come up? Now, you thought you updated their contact info and you have no idea which one is their current one. Ugh! I'm gonna show you where Apple Mail stores that old info so you can destroy it. So you go to write an email in Apple Mail. So let's say you're sending an email to James Awesome Guy. So you make a new email and you type James and you see these three different email addresses come up. And you know that one of them is current, one of them is maybe old, one of them is definitely old. Uh, I'll show you where to look so that you can get rid of that old one. Uh, you just go into the window menu here and you go to previous recipients. Now this is where all the action happens. Um, it remembers every email address that you've ever sent an email to and it's saved in here and you can remove them from the list or you can add them to your contacts. So if I keep this open here and I go look at James Awesome Guy, it's got the current one and it's got the old one here. So I'm going to go edit and I'm going to remove this one here. So now my address book is up to date and then I can actually remove these old ones from here and keep only this one. So if I click remove from list, that's going to remove it. Uh, but cool little tip is that if there's an email address in here that you want to keep, you can click on it and then go add to contacts and it'll pop into your actual contacts and you'll see this little white card here, which means that now it's in your contacts and you can remove these old ones. And then all you've got is the current and correct one for James Awesome Guy. Boom, Mac Epiphany. If you dug that and you want more, head to macandhome.com slash killer tips to grab your free ebook, the top 10 killer tips to speed up your Mac without spending a dime. It's in human language with no acronyms. L'action. <laughs> All right, stop with me.